Hello YouTube, another video tutorial of Cinema 4D by me, by Hiro Haust. Um, what I'm going to show you in this tutorial today is rather a thing you have to see. So I, 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 I made the animation already and I rendered it, so you can see it. Here it is. Okay, so that is pretty much what we're going to create. We're going to create uh, some cubes in one uh, circle. And what we're going to do with those is we're going to animate those on music. And we're going to do that cube by cube, frame by frame. No, no, we're actually not going to do that. We're going to let MoGraph take care of that job. It's actually really simple. Okay, just let's get started and you'll see. Create a cube and I used the the size of 70 by 70 by 70. It's a pretty nice uh yeah, cube and uh, it's not too big, not too not too small. And I'm going to add on a fillet and I'm going to have a radius of 5 and a fillet subdivision of 10. Well, that's pretty nice. That's one cube. Now, we have to have around 30 cubes in one circle. And I'm not going to put that really nicely in a circle. No, I'm going to use a MoGraph tool as well called the Cloner Object. Actually, you need this tool to let this work. So you need MoGraph to let this animation work. So let's grab the cloner object, drag the cube into the cloner object, and actually, actually what the cloner object does is a really easy thing. It does clone objects. As you can see, it does it linear right now and it counts three boxes. Well, that's pretty much what it is right now. But we wanted to have it in a radial selection so we have it round. Now, don't mess up. And don't go and do this. It will screw your animation up. Really, don't do that. It will screw it up. What we need to do to make it flat is just select the cloner object and change the plane to X, Z. That's actually what we have to do. Now, we had a radius. We're going to have a radius of about 400 meters. Since we want to have 30 cubes there, it's going to be pretty big. So I'm going to have 30 cubes, and it fits perfectly. It's really nice, round, and yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> so let's go on. We have a. We need to have a floor because without a floor, we have that. And we don't have the great, uh, great gradient tool. So we're going to drag this up a little bit so we have this really nice scene. We have the light and the floor. We're going to select them both, hit Alt-G to group it, and next re rename it. So make it scene. Now we have the scene in the clonal object. Now actually we're going to select the scene and drag it up till we have a line of pretty much low cubes or low squares if you can see that well this looks pretty nice it's all floored all grounded and um, I'm gonna put it on busy right here um, so it's a pretty nice thing what we're gonna do now is we're, we have to affect all those cubes by an effector of MoGraph we're gonna use the sound effector because we're gonna let it dance on music well, it's really easy. Select the cloner object because we need to affect the cubes. We need to add an effector into the effectors tab layer thingy. So select this sound layer, drag and drop it into the effectors right here. So once we have that, we can go and change some properties in the sound effector. First, we go to parameter. 
What we need to do here is we want to scale, let it scale vertically, which is the y axis. So we need to scale it in the y position. We need to scale it, you get it, we scale it up into the y position. And I found a pretty good size for this, which is 7. You can make it higher, you can make it lower, but I think 7 is a pretty good thing. Thing is, if you change this, all your cubes are going to be larger or smaller. Depends on it. To make that great color effect that we had, so the low tones were just a gray, like the normal objects, a little bit above that are, is the, the yellow color, and above that is, or even more higher, is the, um, uh, the red. So what we need here is actually just put on the color mode on and use alpha strength, put that on as well. Now go to the effector tab and we're going to change the color just to those colors. So I'm going to change it to red and I'm going to change it to yellow. If you want other colors, that's fine with me. I just like red and yellow, good difference between that. Uh, so I just like it. Whatsoever, we have only one thing left to do. Put in a sound file that we need. So we need to go to music and I'm going to scroll down here pretty much and we have here somewhere that one. It has to be a WAV file. That's what I forgot to say. The sound file has to be WAV. Now, once that's done, we have one problem left. Or actually two. If we play it right now, we don't hear anything. It does get affected, but everything is the same size. We don't need we don't want that. What we need to do is actually change the apply mode in the effector tab to step. Once we have this, it's really nice animation as you can see. One thing left, we don't hear any music. That's pretty pretty bad. I'm gonna add about 650 frames for the music to play out and that was another thing for the music, you don't hear any music. Well, that's because it's muted at the moment. What? Muted? Yes, it is muted. The only thing to unmute it is to check this little button. Make sure it's light blue and then it will work. Hit play or hit F8 to play the animation. As you can see, it works really nicely. And, well, that was about it for this tutorial. It was really quickly, I thought. And well, another really interesting thing, actually, was the camera that was moving around it. I, did really, I didn't really do much work in it. I will upload a second part soon to let you show how I did that. It was really easy. I used the spline to rotate my camera, and it was a target camera. Well, for this tutorial, for this part, I hope you learned something from it, and I hope you'll subscribe if you see the, uh, if you see a video from me for the first time. I'd like you to subscribe to me. Um, I upload a lot of Cinema 4D lately tutorials, uh, Cinema 4D tutorials lately. <laughs> Sorry about that. And I don't know what I have tonight. I'm pretty hyper. Whatsoever. <laughs> This is a tutorial based on Cinema 4D MoGraph. You need MoGraph to, have, to run it. And, well, it was this tutorial, and I hope you'll I'll see you next time. Okay, guys, till next tutorial, till next part. See you later. Bye.